Hi, and welcome to part two. Uh, this is the part that I would like to share with you some of the grooves I played on some hit records. Uh, the first one I'd like to share with you is a, uh, the groove from uh, the intro and verse of a song called This Is It by Kenny Loggins. Let's have a listen. Hi, uh, the, the tune we just heard, This Is It by Kenny Loggins, looks something like this when played. One, two, three, four. Okay, broken down, uh, what I'm actually doing there is playing a, a, a pattern with the left hand that looks roughly like this on the hi-hat. It's one, two, three, four. Uh, the thing that makes it sound uh, kind of unique, uh, thank you Steve Gadd, whom I borrowed heavily from on that, is where you open it. One, two. That's basically the pattern. Uh, the next thing I, I'd like to take a look at is a song that uh, was actually number one all over the world at the same time, a song called Footloose. Uh, there was, uh, that, that song featured a drum breakdown, uh, so let's have a listen to that first, shall we? On the breakdown of this song, the drum breakdown, I originally played it on acoustic drums and then doubled it with Simmons. Remember those things? Boy, not too comfortable to play, but uh, dur uh, during that period, it was a very popular sound. Anyway, the drum breakdown actually went something like this. I, I did an eighth note ride or 16th note ride on the, on the tom, floor tom with the right hand and uh, quarter notes with the foot and then um, played the pattern on the, on the tom. So. It's a groove, it's like one, one, two, three. <laughs> That's what it sounded like fast or at tempo. Let me show you, uh, we'll play it together, I'll break it down and, and show you exactly what I'm playing on the toms. First of all, I'm playing a 16th or 8th note ride on the, the floor tom. Which is then I add uh, the tom accents, which are I add the bass drum, it sounds something like this. Why don't you play it along with me now? One, two, three, four. Uh, 
uh, gee, the next uh, tune that I think I'd like to, to show you uh, what I played on, I'm often asked about this particular triplet lick that I do. Um, uh, it is probably best exemplified by a track I did on a uh, Richard Marks album called Hold On to the Nights. Let's listen to that. Uh, when the drums enter uh, there originally at the session, I, uh, I uh, opted for a, a sort of a more stock kind of fill. Uh, the producer told me he liked the beginning of it, but he said, why don't you do something of your own on the second part of that? So I came up with something like, one, two, three, four. Now the thing that makes uh, that lick uh, unique is the fact that I'm playing triplets, but I'm doubling up and accenting the first part of of uh, I guess it's a thirty second note before the triplet instead of like one two three four. I'm going two three four. You'll see in your booklet uh, how that looks written out. It's the accent uh, on the first beat uh, that, that, that really gives that, that lick its personality. Exercise six uh, is something I did on a song called I Would Love To uh, with Steve Vai. Uh, it's actually a real simple lick, but I've had many people come up and ask me, what was that? I mean, he's talking over it, but, but what was that lick? Let's have a listen to that. You know, it's when they look you in the eyes and they say... The lick uh, came out of, the song is sort of uh, in a feel kind of like this. One, two, three. Now slowly, that lick is just four strokes on the snare drum, two with the feet, six, I believe, with the hands, and then four with the feet. So, slowly it would sound like... <laughs> 